hello students so today i am going to discuss about the last topic of this chapter division that is division of numbers ending with zeros now i'm making this uh, video because uh, i will not schedule any gmit in that this uh, coming class so i'm giving this video so that you can follow up this video and and then solve the given questions now the topic is division of numbers ending with zeros now there is it is not like this that we cannot divide these numbers like we normally do say I am writing the topic first division of numbers ending with zeros so division of number ending with zero means any numbers that ends with zero say for example the numbers like 120 or 90 700 360 all these are numbers which has that zero at the unit place so these are the numbers that end with zero now if i'm dividing such numbers with a divisor with a one digit divisor say for example um 60 divided by 2 so i can go with normal division normal division means the way we divide that is 2 3 times 6 then 0 comes down 2 0 the zero so that is how we have done the division but this type of divisions can be done even without showing this statements how 60 divided by 2 think this number of as like this 6 into 10 so i can divide simply this 6 by 2 so 6 divided by 2 we know it is 3 now how many zeros are there there is only one tens so put a zero here your answer is done okay so you can divide such numbers directly also without even doing the division you just need to divide the number the non-zero number this is a zero number and this is a non-zero number with the given divisor write down that answer and just put as many zeros present there say for example if i take uh, 400 divided by 4 so what is the non-zero number here 4 so divide 4 with the divisor 4 so 4 divided by 4 is 1 now there are 1 and 2 zeros put it here your answer is 100 so as you can see dividing a number having 0 at the in end uh, unit place is becomes quite easier so based on this explanation based on this idea let us now come to the exercise 5f where the first question is fill in the blanks as we see in the book these are some fill in the blanks given here so i'm not going to do all of them i'll do some of them for you so, and the rest of them you will do it yourself by following the explanation that i've given so the first one is number a 320 divided by 2 is equal to how much now because this is a fill in the blank that means it will be a one mark one mark question obviously so what you have to do is that you have to simply find out the answer and write the answer here but how can we do it directly no need to take 320 leave this 0 take 32 and divide it by 2 if you can do it orally it's well and good but if you cannot do it you can just find it out here 2 1 the 2 remainder 1 2 6 the 12 so the answer is 16 so write 16 here now there is one zero so put the zero your answer is done say number b three uh, sorry 660 divided by 3 so you just divide 66 by 3 so 3 to the 6 3 to the 6 1 0 is there so put the 0 so answer is done say i take um number d 300 divided by 6 now it's quite obvious that 3 cannot be divided by 6 we cannot divide 3 by 6 because it is smaller so i'll take 30 30 divided by 6 gives you 5 and there is one more zero left at the last because one zero i have already taken for division be careful don't put two zeros here because you have already taken the second zero to divide with 6 that means i have taken 30 so what is left out only one zero so the answer will be 50 
so if you are using the zero then don't write the zero anymore but if you are not using the zero then only you'll write it again so this is how you can solve the remaining questions so i've shown three of them so i hope you can solve the remaining questions from this question number one now question number two and three are application based questions so let us see what are the questions harish bought 160 oranges he divided them equally among his four brothers how many oranges did each brother get so harish bought 160 oranges so number of oranges number of oranges harish bought is equal to 160 the second part of the question says that he divides these oranges equally among his four brothers so how many brothers he has number of brothers four so the question says how many oranges will each brother get therefore number of oranges each brother gets now here we'll not do the division directly we'll show the division because it's a story problem this question will fill in the blanks that is why i taught you that you can do the division in this way also or directly also now when we'll use this direct method when it is a one mark question like this this fill in the blanks will be one mark question so in that case you don't need to show the division you can write direct answer but when the word problems will be coming then you'll not write direct answers you'll write the statements you'll show the calculation so here we have to divide 160 by 4 4 4 times gives you 16 so you are left with 0 so 4 0 the 0 so the answer is 40 oranges so you have to simply divide it and get your answer similarly if you see the last question there are 500 chairs in an office which has five floors if each floor has the same number of chairs how many chairs are there on one floor so total their total number of chairs 500 total number of floors 5 now all from this 500 chairs equal equal number of chairs are placed in every floor then how many chairs are there in each floor so number of chairs in each floor 500 divided by 5 so this is same as number 2 you have to just first write how many chairs are there and how many floors are there and then you'll write number of chairs on one floor 500 divided by 5 so this one and the remaining questions from number one are your homework so you follow up this video and complete the other questions so there will be no gym meet in this uh, for this uh, chapter i exercise but i've already made the video for you so follow this video and then complete the work so i hope this will be enough to make you understand because there is nothing much in this thing only the idea of uh, dividing a number with zero and that is not a new also for you actually you have already done many numbers ending with zero so just uh, go through this video again and again and then if any confusion in the next gym class you can just clear the um, doubts that you have whenever i'll schedule the next gym class you can just clear it out okay so thank you very much bye bye